Hello dear student this is Dr Agnes John Kara with me we'll learn types of parasite types of parasite in this chapter we are going to learn about ectoparasite endoparasite and classification of parasites on the basis of time spent on the host we'll start with the introduction parasite depends on other animals for nourishment and shelter parasitism is an association in which parasite gets benefits and host always suffer injuries parasite has lo lost its own power of independent life so it depend on host body for its survival parasite has classified various ways dependent depending on their relationship with the host so there are different uh, aspects which are uh, which are taken into consideration while classifying parasites these are taxonomy habitat or location degree of parasitism variety of host location in the host body and the behavior there is difference between predators and parasites first different predator it feeds on another organism which is called as a prey and parasite it feeds on another organism which is called as a host second predator is larger and stronger than the prey and parasite is smaller and weaker than its host predator it kills the prey and parasite it does not immediately kill the host though the latter stage may die of prolonged exploitation fourth predator feeds on killed prey and parasite feeds on living host fifth predator feeds over the prey from outside and parasite may feed over its host from outside as well as from the inside sixth difference is predator comes in contact with prey for catching and eating and parasite it comes in contact with its host body uh, temporary or permanently either for eating for getting new uh, either for getting nutrition or getting protection or for the transfer purpose seventh difference there is progressive development of characters or evolution in case of predators and in case of parasite many of the characteristics undergo retrogression in the parasite eighth difference is in predator prey Pre predator prey relationship is the stronger organism is benefited in this relation stronger organism is benefited and in parasite host relationship a weaker organism is benefited ninth difference is prey specifically is less common and in parasite host specificity is more common so in case of predator prey specificity is less common and in case of parasite host specificity is most common so these are the difference examples from phylum protozoa it includes large number of parasites species like amoebae flagellates ciliates and sporozoans Phylum Platyhelminthes comprises of parasitic flatworms like flukes and tapeworm, roundworms, hookworms are the representative uh, organisms of phylum Nematoda. Phylum Arthropoda, number of parasitic species like ticks, mites, insects, and crustaceans are included into this phylum. In vertebrates, uh, Canidaria fish and vampire bats are considered as true parasites. vampire bats attack on domestic and wild animals and suck their blood 
so vertebrate organisms include ca canidary fish and vampire bats as a parasite example so now we will study types of parasite the first type is ectoparasite the parasite that lives on the external surface of the body of the host is called as the ectoparasite here we can see lice it is ectoparasite endoparasite parasites that lives within the body of their host in locations such as alimentary canal liver lung blood or urinary bladder are called as endoparasites so these are the example of the endoparasites ectoparasites the parasite that lives on the external surface of the body of the host is called ectoparasite these parasites are attached to skin of host for example tick or hair and feathers for example louse ectoparasites like mosquitoes and bed bugs sucks the blood from the human skin there are some ectoparasites which lives just below the skin by making tunnels below host skin for example itching mite ectoparasites are not fully dependent on their host body they take their nourishment or food from the host and some metabolites like oxygen from the air ectoparasites are not permanently attached to the body of their host they may change the site of attachment for getting the nutrition another features of ectoparasites are ectoparasite lives on the surface of the host they can be temporary intermittent or permanent they can be hemiparasite or holoparasite that is completely parasites or um, uh, they can live a complete parasitic life or a temporary parasitic life that is only for a period of time respiration is aerobic in case of ectoparasites specialization has led to loss of fewer structures like wings in fleas and bed bugs and lice examples are head lice fleas and bed bugs endoparasites parasites that live within the body of their host in location such as alimentary canal liver lungs blood or urinary bladder are known as endoparasites these lead completely parasitic life and hence they draw nourishment from the body of their host endoparasites are again classified in different types depending upon their occurrence in different organs and tissues of the host endoparasite shows several modifications in their body structures for the adaptations of endoparasitic mode of life these are the features of endoparasites endoparasite lives in the body of the host they are generally permanent parasites they are usually holoparasites respiration is often anaero uh, anaerobic that is in absence of oxygen specialization has led to loss of several structures like digestive organs in case of tenia what are the adaptations of endoparasites loss of epidermis to offer resistance against action of digestive juices of host loss of so sense of uh, sense organs as they live in constant environment of host body degeneration of nervous system degeneration of digestive system loss of locomotory organ development of organs of attachment like hooks suckers and spines which help them to attach inside the body of the host vast rate of reproduction in the host body uh, in order to ensure the survival complexity of the life cycle physiological adaptations like intracellular digestion osmoregulations anaerobic respiration and secretion of anti enzymes to protect themselves from the host uh, host enzymes inside their body there are 
different types of endoparasites first type of endoparasite is superficial endoparasites these endoparasites live on epithelial surface of the alimentary canal and some live in the lumen of the tract for example Escherichia and hookworm and ancylostoma duodenal live in lumen of gut entamoeba occur on epithelial surface second is visceral endoparasites these are the parasites which live inside the tissues like blood muscles etc they are classified into again different types first is blood or hemoparasite so hemoparasite is type of visceral endoparasite the parasites like plasmodium trypanosoma blood fluke cystosoma live in blood cells or blood plasma some stages of their life cycle are completed in the blood only therefore these parasites are called as blood parasites or hemoparasites so the example is trypanosoma and schistosoma second type of visceral parasite is lymph parasite these parasites live in lymph vessels called lymph parasite example is vucheria bancrofti or filaria uh, which lives in lymph vessels and it causes the disease filariasis vucheria bancrofti diagram you can see male and female third type of visceral parasite is organ parasites some endoparasites live in particular organ and cause damage to it which are called as organ parasite for example liver fluke or physiola hepatica lives only in bile duct of the liver of the ship and paragonimus live in human lungs fourth visceral parasite is muscle parasite these endoparasite live only in muscles example is trichinella spiralis the larval nematode parasites occur only in the muscles of the vertebrate you can see it in the picture trichinella spiralis the fifth type is tissue parasite visceral parasite is tissue parasite some nematode parasite live in subcutaneous tissue host the female guinea worm dracunculus medinensis lives in subcutaneous tissues of human host endoparasite it lives inside the body of the host uh, there are some endoparasites which lives in mouth entamoeba trichomonas digestive tract entamoeba giardia ascaris encyclostoma ne uh, neacter trichuris uh, blood in the blood plasmodium trypanosoma leishmania they this parasite lives in the blood uh, vucheria and brugia this parasite lives in lymphatic tissue in uh, other tissues dracunculus in body cavity steria diplotriania brinellia this parasite lives in body cavity and trypanosoma plasmodium falciparum entamoeba histolytica this parasites can live in the brain there is different types of parasites on the basis of time spent on or in the host body so the first type is temporary parasites these are the parasites which visits their host for short period of time and take the food from the host for example mosquitoes bed bugs leeches they just visit the host body only to obtain the food or the nutrition permanent parasite this parasites lives in the body of the host for prolonged period throughout their life cycle for example tapeworm liver fluke ascaris intestinal protozoa etc third type is facultative parasites this parasite lives in parasitic life when opportunity arises for example free living nematodes rabditis fourth type is obligatory parasites these are the parasites 
which completely depend on their host so parasitic life is obligation for this organisms so they cannot exist without parasitic life for example plasmodium and liver fluke and ascaris fifth type is occasional or accidental parasites these parasites attacks an unusual host and survive for example liver fluke of ship found in dog or cat wandering or aberrant parasites these are the parasite which live in the body of the host and migrate a place where they cannot live and survive for example adult ascaris live in intestine but larvae wander in the liver body cavity or nostrils of the host seventh type is periodic parasite this parasite spend a definite period of development on or in the body of the host and then leave to start non parasitic life for example encyclostoma is free living found in the soil but adults are parasite in human intestine eighth type is continuous parasite this parasite lead complete life cycle in the body of the host for example each mite lies ninth type is hyperparasite ninth type is hyperparasite one parasite support life of another parasite for example nematode parasites are responsible for the transmission of protozoan in the turkeys tenth type is multi parasites or sim parasites in the body of single host when two or more species or types of parasites live simultaneously this condition is called as multi parasitic condition or sim parasitic condition for example in human host ascaris and amoeba both parasites live in the intestine of the same host thank you